just look at this logo here. On the left, we can see the Jalgiris Konas logo before this season. And it's been existing since essentially like this is the old logo, right? So this season, they decided to rebrand themselves for I don't know why. Um, don't ask me. I would have never done this decision. So it's a very, you know, I don't know. It seems to be something with marketing. I don't know. Maybe they had to give the marketing department some job to do. Anyways, um, the main things about this team that to me and to other people, I think, represent the value of the team, you know, it's uh, representing the city of Konas and not just Konas, but all of Lithuania. So, again, you're changing the logo and a lot of people, not just me, are pissed about it. Not just disappointed more so than pissed. And um, just to add to that, the whole season has been horrible so far, not only in the Lithuanian League, but um, in the Euro League. So that's uh, the decisions that have been made and the decisions that haven't been made is what's led to this. Now we're going to have Basket News talk about a new signing by uh, Shalgiris. Uh, they signed a player from Canada, Naz Mitrulong. He's uh, he was a complete bust. Not only that, but uh, Brady Manek, another player who played for University of North Carolina. Uh, Naz Mitrulong, I don't know who he played for. Uh, doesn't really matter to be honest. He was a Euroleague veteran, not a very good player, like a very mid player, journeyman, nothing special. He also struggled. I think he played in Milan before. Um, yeah, now, now Jalgiris moved, uh, moved him out of the team and sent him to Olympiakos, which, uh, speaking of Olympiakos, they also sent, uh, Ignis Brasdekis in there as well, but more so as I think they weren't committed fully to him. So, and also he saw an opportunity, I don't know, he liked Greece, he went there, the Lithuanians were coping a little bit saying, oh, well, we got money for him, you know, all this. So, uh, Yeah. Now, now in Basket News now, which is, I think, the biggest, uh, yeah, undisputably the biggest uh, news portal in Lithuania and English for basketball in Lithuania. And they cover not only Lithuania, they cover uh, EuroLeague and NBA. Uh, they're going to talk about this new signing for, um, from Jalgiris, which, in my opinion, it's... Uh, it's it's not good and it won't work out at the end of the day and it shows a lack of values and it's a, it's it's a spit in the face to the fans in semio rokas labai daugiausias formacijos pateikė aš dabar pažiūrėjau vairių highlightų ir ką spėjau paskaityti tai gana kurie tie ekspertai NBA sako gal žemo nu nėra aukšto krepšinio pasuoja gerai kiek mačiau iš highlightų Spasikus dalina tikrai gerai, bet nėra labai aukšto krepšinio IQ. Kaip Rokas minėjo, labai silpna vieta gynyba su juo komanda, kai jis aikštėjai. Tai na, reikia, kad jis ko daugiau imtus iniciatyvos, kaip koks aukštas lietas centras. Kad... Ok, now uh, this guy just basically said that the guy has a low basketball IQ and horrible defense. Just bluntly, straight up. So... Good job, Konas. You signed a player now who isn't Lithuanian. Lithuania needs, uh, Lithuanian clubs need Lithuanian players because they have them, but they don't appreciate them. And fuck, this is heartbreaking, you know, to see like why you have the players and also develop them, but not even develop. You have talented players who are better. And this Edmund Summer, the other thing they talk about is how he's weak physically and he's had multiple injuries. So... It's just fuck. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Atsigavas yra po to pilnai, kaip ir durantui pavyko atsigaut, bet jis yra Okay, the funny thing here was uh, now I'm going to talk about David the Sirvitis, but first I'm going to tell you what, what he said. He basically said that uh, the Sumner guy uh, is like a used car. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's funny, you know, like, uh, 
I don't know. Most English commentators don't talk like this, but uh, yeah, basically they're referring to him. No, not basically. He, he, they're saying, you know, he's had multiple injuries. He had the same surgeon as Kevin Durant and he healed up quite well. So yeah, uh, th this is the state of things. Okay, now I'm going to talk about David Asirvidis. Um, he's a Lithuanian player who just joined the Lithuanian league this year with Panevicius, which is like, it's uh, one of the better teams in Lithuania, but it's not comparable to Zalgiris. And then uh, now you have Wolves, which is a billionaire team that's just been formed uh, since last year. And Lithuania, it's not on that level, but it can compete, maybe, you know. Uh, so... Yeah, before he played in mostly the G League. He played a little bit in the Detroit Pistons, uh, hopped around summer leagues. You know, he's a 23-year-old player who was drafted in the second round, 37th pick. He's a talented player, very talented player, and he can play. He's versatile, I would say. Uh, he's more of a shooter. He's a streaky shooter. To me, he's more of like a J.R. Smith type of Lithuanian version of J.R. Smith. Because he's not very quality based in efficiency, but then again, look, you can uh, develop the player, you know, and he's playing very, very well for Latkabelis this season. And I can assure you that he would have been better than Nazmitru Long or even this guy that they just signed. So now, as we look at some highlights here, uh, Panavis has just had a game with Cluj Napoko, so a Euro Cup game. And you can see Sirvidis has been averaging 17.4. Uh, he doesn't rebound too much, doesn't assist too much, but his three-point percentage is almost 40%. He shoots free throws at like a 90% clip. F uh, field goal percentage is, you know, 60% almost. 17.4 uh, points, like, uh, he's playing good minutes. I mean, come on, Shalgiris, what are you doing? I I mean the guy the guy like I told you to me he's like a he's like a Lithuanian J.R. Smith he he has moves look at that boom like it's like uh you know it's nice you know he's six foot eight as well like he, he has the versatility uh offensively you know uh, the the problem is mostly defensively so again this is a player that Jalgeta should have signed and you know they didn't okay now uh now we have Ajalos Tabalis. Uh, he played at University of Arizona. He was almost drafted. He played in the. He he's basically signed with Philadelphia. He didn't hang, um, and now he is killing it in uh, Lithuania. He he's basically signed with uh, Vilnius, Vilnius Latvos Ritas, but um, he's playing for Neptunas, which it's uh, also you know a similar team to Panevicius on the scale on the level. Uh, but the team is playing really well, and they just uh, they just demolished Konas, uh, in big part to Ashley. Okay, so now for Ashley the Ballas, he he's only twenty one. He played three seasons in Arizona. He was an incredible player. He he, I would say he had a better a college career than even Domantas Sabonis, who's an NBA All Star, also a Lithuanian player. If you look at his season right now in Lithuania, he had. He has uh, four games so far. Him <clears throat> from three, he had a game for going uh, three for five. Another game, he went one for two. He dropped 23, 14. Another game against Zalgiris, he scored 20. Again, he went three for five on three there. That's another game. And then another game against uh, Kadaini, he had an one for one. So overall, his, his shooting percentage uh, in the LKL is over 60%. In a in a cup in cup games, also uh, just below sixty because he had one game when he went one for two. I mean the guy, it's to me he's 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 really good. He's really good and extremely underrated. And now uh, some uh, some reasons why he is so underrated. Um, you will understand maybe why they didn't take him later. I just could see Kalbak at the three team. Tikrai, kai niekas nemato, tikrai aš jį metu pataipau, bet nematau, nemačiau Amerikoje būtinybės. So, yeah, look at him, just breaking away, nice dunk there. Yeah, Žalgiris got embarrassed, most embarrassing game I've seen of them in my life. 
and I've been a fan since a long time. Okay, so the reason uh, that uh, Jalgiris fans hate him so much and why maybe they didn't want him is simply for the fact that when he was young, he stepped on the logo in the locker room. And he is from Vilnius, I guess. He's, uh, I think he's from Vilnius. Uh, but the point is he's from the Vilnius system. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, but he, he apologized for this everything. You know, you need to also not put your ego into check and have... Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just childish stuff, you know. But at the same time, the guy apologized and you could have went after him. You did not. So again, another player they, they, they fucked up on, you know. Excuse my French. Okay, now finally we're going to talk about Ignis Perzdekis. He went to the University of Michigan. Um, and he is, uh, he's, he's a limited player. Um, statistically, he's doing awful, awful uh, this season. But, again, he's a very good driver. He can shoot a little bit. He's not completely, you know, useless. He, 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 he was one of the reasons why Shad get us last season. Uh, they, they didn't only meet expectations. They exceeded expectations. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> the, guy, the guy can shoot a little bit. You know, you can see here he can shoot a little bit. I was at the game. Um, I like his game. Very, very athletic as well. He's not very good defensively. Not the highest IQ player. But still, uh, moving to Olympiacos was a very childish move, in my opinion. And he's not going to do well. He should have stayed in Jalgiris developed. And Jalgiris didn't put enough, um, enough anything, really, to stick him around into the team. It just let him go and coped about it. So, I mean, this concludes the video. Yeah, but these are my thoughts. I had to let them let it I let it out, you know, because man, it's just uh it's just embarrassing how Konus is going and they're playing Milano today, November 30th. So yeah, I mean, I'm making making this video before the game, but that's uh it's another L, you know? Like um unless they somehow come out and just man, just you know, maybe if they play with like their complete heart, but you can see they just don't want to play anymore. They just don't want to. They don't have it anymore. People, people are, it's, it's, the situation of the team is basically the soul has been uh, taken out of them. So I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. I'm telling you, it's too many mistakes. You don't have the core values. You don't have a high IQ uh, mindset in terms of, understanding how to build consistently and having core values so to me that's been destroyed and starting from the logo all the way to decisions so yeah that's all i'm out